How's it going today, YouTube? Today we're going to be talking about workhorse stock and how it and myself are getting absolutely obliterated. I bought it in about $23 per share and it's about $18 per share at the time of recording. So needless to say, I'm getting absolutely crushed right now. We're gonna talk about why I'm getting crushed right now. We're also gonna talk about if it's a buy, sell, or hold at the moment as well. So a lot of decent stuff to unpack here. So let's dive on in. I also forgot to say, welcome to the dungeon. You can see the bricks behind me here. If you enjoy the content, this is a bigger position. And uh, like and subscribe if you want to follow that. So we got a little bit here, and there's real coffee in this cup. Somebody accused me of not having coffee one day. <sighs> so here are a few reasons why it's down so much. And there's actually quite a few that I was digging up and why. Oh, should I sell it? Should I keep it? So why well, it's down so much. So one of the biggest things is the hype that was going on for this company. So the biggest thing it has going for it is it could be getting this U.S. Postal Service contract where it builds all these delivery vehicles and makes a ton of money making these vehicles for the USPS um, for them. So this contract was pushed out till the end of the year when it was thought to be in October when it was going to be announced. <clears throat> So this probably just caused an influx of people to sell out of it because they don't want to wait. This is a very volatile stock. So that's understandable that people take their profits and be like, okay, well, if I want to get back in, I can just wait until this contract is going to happen and then I can do it then. So that's completely understandable. ARK Investing is selling this one. So they have a huge, huge position and they only sold a small, small chunk. They sold like 3,300 shares and they have like tens of thousands of shares. So they only sold a very, very small position of this one. So I'm not super duper worried about this. I don't know if they just want like a square number of shares. They sold like a very odd amount of shares. So I don't know if they want like a square amount of shares or if they want to take some profit on some shares or what their deal is. But ARK Investing did sell some of their shares, which is a little bit worrisome. The market is tanking in general. So if you see the whole entire market tanking, you're gonna think, oh, these individual stocks are gonna tank quite a bit. And something with such high volatility like Workhorse is gonna be much more prone to that sort of thing, tanking with the rest of the market. I mean, the whole market was down 2% yesterday. I mean, meaning Workhorse was down like 10% yesterday, which is sucky. But it's going to be very volatile and it's going to swing with the market. And this is due to also increased COVID rates that are happening right now, which is part of why the market is tanking right now. Uh, people taking profits, so loose hands or people that are just happy with the amount they made. I'm pretty bullish on the contract in general, so I'm feeling like I wouldn't want to take any profits until that contract is done. But there are a few scary things coming up here. Uh, earnings November 9th, which are not expected to be very good. They've been focusing all of their time, money, and effort on this USPS contract, being able to prepare and build all of these vehicles for the United States Postal Service. And with that, they probably haven't been able to manufacture too many um, of their base model vehicles that they've been making. So I'm not really expecting it to be super good earnings. And I don't think a lot of people are expecting it to be super great earnings. So that could be another thing that kind of just smushes this one completely. And then we also have elections, which are at the beginning of November as well. So with all of these things, and this being such a highly volatile stock, I can see people just wanting to be like, okay, I'm out till at least the end of November. I'll hop back in once everything's settled down. Elections can cause a bunch of volatility and crazy swings. Uh, the earnings can cause a bunch of crazy volatility and swings. I'm out till then. And I actually completely understand that because there's a lot of stuff going on that could completely tank the share price or that could help the share price. But generally, I could say there is more bad stuff in the future for this one than good stuff potentially here. So I can see why people would be getting out right now. So let's dive into what I'm going to do with this one here. Do what to do. So what are we going to do here, guys? So long term, if you're bullish on EVs, if you're bullish on Workhorse getting a good chunk of this contract, if you feel positive about that, I mean, I w I'm not selling myself because I feel very bullish about these things. So I'm not going to sell until this point. I feel confident that the United States Postal Service is going to choose Workhorse. They, I'm assuming, are going to want some full EV options because I feel like 20, 30 years from now, that's all that's going to be out there. And if they want their vehicles to have relevancy and lasting power, then I think that's the choice they should make myself. That's how I feel about it. So I feel good about holding right now. The question here is, should I cost down? Now that we're down to 18 something a share and I bought it in about 23, is it ideal to cost down? Well, for me, I kind of feel like earnings will be bad, I think. 
Uh, I don't know how the elections are going to sway the market. It, it just it causes uncertainty and volatile stocks suffer from uncertainty because people don't want to be uncertain with volatility. So I would say I'm not going to be costing down at this point. I'm going to go ahead and wait until after November, not, November 9th. I want the earnings to settle. I want the elections to settle. I want to see where the dust settles. And if we're still at a point where I'm like, oh, yeah, this still seems really good. And after diving into earnings, seeing how I feel about them, then I'll go ahead and possibly buy some more. But this is also difficult because this share price is all hinging on them getting this USPS contract. And you can't be 100% sure that they're going to get most of this contract. I am fairly certain that the United States Postal Service will get some of this contract. I th they'll give them some of this contract. But again, it's hard to know. So if they get none of it, then it's like, oh my gosh, I have this large position that's going to get absolutely obliterated from them not getting any of this contract. And the fact that they really haven't made a lot of vehicles other than the fact they're trying to prepare to make all these vehicles for the United States Postal Service. So that's what I'm doing with it right now. I'm just going to hold. I'm going to wait for these turbulent times to be over. And then after earnings, after November time, beginning of November, which is a couple weeks away, which is kind of crazy, then I would think about possibly you know, getting some more shares. So, and I'd let you guys know on that one too. So if you like the content, please think about liking and subscribing. I will be following this one fairly closely. So uh, thanks for your time and I hope you guys make some money here.